October 4th, 2005. As he walked randomly through the streets in his morning meditation, someone thought he moved like a man with purpose, another thought outlaw. One woman sitting at a window imagined her legs around his neck. Charlie began composing in his head a poem of the Paris street. It is a poem of loss, warmth, and color transformed. Gone. Autumnal beauty. Woman taking care of a disabled man. Asked for things continually. Feels her life is nothing. Spring is far away. His goal is action with dignity. Hers is spring. He loves her. Charlie stops eavesdropping. October 13th, 2005. Charlie doing prostrations on the early morning sidewalk as the rain pours down. Tears of a blind virgin. At first he imagines her present in his arms. Soon there are no arms. Charlie stands up. Doesn't say he's changed, but a smile shows in his eyes. He goes into a cafe. A woman is drinking coffee. Charlie orders coffee. October 17th, 2005. Charlie in the gallery, looking at an abstract painting. He is stirred by access to a soul that doesn't understand. Talkative stranger next to him says she doesn't get it. Charlie keeps quiet. He is off to the street that bends like a smile. October 22nd, 2005. Charlie listening to Dylan in an undecorated room. One more cup of coffee for the road. Wet street of lower Manhattan, channeling a heart in Paris. Sarah, radiant jewel, mystical wife. Charlie looks outside. Men are building a roof. A song can give shade to. October 26th, 2005. Charlie in a chair. Tremble in the air as he lets go. The dark room shakes, streets of Paris blink. His prayer is for miracles. He gets out the paint, fields of yellow, red, and blue, unruly black lines, thick and confident. The mantra repeats itself. Charlie's invisible, no one to blame. <sighs> October 29th, 2005. The flowers of Montmartre are inside now. Soft voices, heat, and lamplight. Last night, Charlie walked to a storefront studio to watch dancers rehearse. Cecilia Bartoli singing Mozart arias. Charlie loses it all in a single curve. He's long gone when the schmoozing begins. Walking the same streets with gratitude until the inner curve attaches to a woman bending toward him from the other side of the cafe window. She is beside a poster of a Degas dancer. Charlie says, bonjour. Turns and walks in a trance to his room. Gets into bed and rests with the image of a woman with long golden curls at a potter's wheel, smiling. November 2nd, 2005. Charlie was sitting on a bench a long time. It was damp and getting colder. A woman with white hair sat down next to him. He'd been sitting there mourning. Out of nowhere, she told him to be grateful for everything, as impossible as that feels. Grateful for the times he'd been denied. Charlie thanked her before getting it. But he got it and got up. He walked to a warm cafe, took out a pen, marks of gratitude on the back of the menu. November 18th, 2005. For hours, Charlie didn't resist the grip of loss. Now he paints the mirror in a dark room in Paris in the rain. As he paints, he imagines wildly expressive faces of others. November 20th, 2005. Charlie orders grits at a cafe on the edge of Montmartre. After breakfast, he'll return to the same gallery again. Sidewalks and old buildings, trees and sky. Soon he is walking with a woman. They don't speak. They hold hands. They turn together into a fully shaded street. For lunch, they share a wrap. Then she is off to her studio to work on a bust of Camille Claudel. 
and he takes the cobblestone to his room where he'll open a cold can of root beer in the second volume of Proust. December 2nd, 2005. Dusting of snow on Montmartre streets. Darkness in the trees. Melancholy in a black leather jacket moves across the morning head low. Wind picks up. The sun comes out from an edge of the sky. As he reaches her building, he can see her through the walls at the messy table sketching a portrait of him from memory. He follows his single purpose. He walks the streets of Paris in solitude. He hums songs praising her. He searches for gifts to bring her. He returns with a torn page from a magazine. First image of a new collage. December 9th, 2005. He sees it for what it is. End of a dream, dream of a life, acceptance of failure, real failure. Pattern has persisted so long, snow in the dark of morning, snow in the forecast. A sleek gray cat crosses the road, a window opens, music of his youth. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. He walks back to bed, closes weary eyes. There she is. December 21st, 2005. It's been a cold December in Paris. Charlie keeps playing Chopin. Seams are all open. Audience is naked. Clocks are bent by Dolly. Cornell boxes it. Sun on snow. Slippery. December 26th, 2005. Charlie reviewing the year. The losses, the letting go. The openings, the galleries, the bursts of vivid memories, angle of light on the most obscure patch of brick in all Brooklyn. At dawn on a walk with someone, Charlie makes a pit stop, takes a long guilt shower before drying off and leaping naked through the open door of his place onto the top of the landing. And there she is floating up the steps.